everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video we have an hourglass unboxing and this is their holiday collection. Here we have the ambient light edit and we also have the ambient light blush quad and taking account that this is my first blushes and palette from hourglass. This is a true first impression not only for this collection but the entire formula from the brand. I only have two products from the brand and they are the Veil Hourglass primer and their loose powder let's go ahead and dive into this unboxing slash review i'm gonna be applying this product on me well as much as i can obviously um it's a bunch of blushes in here when we open the box this is how it looks like the first thing that i see is the invoice which should come in a regular paper then we have this kind of like dark brown paper and then we open it up and it has a bunch of these loose little things. We are not recyclable, not good. You cannot recycle these things. Um, or even if you put in the, the company won't recycle, at least here in Florida, I don't know other states. But here is a bunch of this thing, which is not good. So this is how they are displayed. This is probably the quad and this is the ambient palette right here. This brown paper, this thing leave a little bit of residual on the boxes. See? Uh, okay. A lot of that. Like this entire box is full on that plus what I removed from the top. This is messy as you can see for lying all over the place. Product is protected, but I don't like the way that it's protected. Also have here information. We have the Hourglass Cruelty Free Luxury Brand. Very beautiful. Also have here a sample of the Hour Veil Glass. I love this product. We have here foundation samples. Here is the packaging and as you see it has the reflecting silver boss which is very very beautiful. Here is the name of the palette, ambient lighting and it goes and we have the information on the palette this side. This is how it looks the packaging, it has this material kind of very reflecting material, it's silver, it's darkening up myself and on the sides and on the back is this kind of like transparent plastically, kind of like trying to say, hey, we are a ghost, so it's transparent. It has six different colors and it tells you individually what color it is in the back of the palette. Also, it tells you that it lasts 12 months. Again, obviously we know a lot of people keep it for longer. This is retail, if I haven't said it, for $80. Let's open this guy up. This is the first time I see it too. Ooh. Here it is. It has this big glass ring right here and these are the colors. Look at that. Breaking down the information that this palette has, basically these two colors right here are finishing. This could be for the entire face. This could be basically for the under eye unless you are very pale. And this one is okay for your entire face. This one is more like a highlight. It's a bronzer and these two are the blotches. Deep light and diffuse light, iridescent straw light, eternal bronzer light, iridescent rose and sublime flush. As you saw, those colors are very light. So if you are afraid of this one picking up too much, well, you just saw it's not super strong. So what I like so far about this formula, it is that you can build it up. It's not something that is gonna punch you in the face right away. One of the things that I don't like is that I don't think all these colors will work with every skin tone. Some of them are too light for deep skin tones, like the bronzer might be too light for deep skin tones, might not show up too well. This light color might be way too light. So yeah, I think these two colors work perfectly fine for me. Actually, all the colors will work in my skin tone, but I don't know if it's somebody who is deep, this will be a good, color for them so um, that would be nice if they come out with two versions one for light to medium and one for medium to deep right what do you think 
applying this process at the end of the video, but now we're gonna move on with the second product that I got from this limited edition collection. Now we're gonna be talking about the second product I got from this collection. This is the Squad Blush. This is the Ambient Lighting Blush Quad, and this is retail for $58. So let's open this guy and see. how. Uh, here is this little guy here. It looks so cute. It's the same packaging, just a little more square, little tiny bit. It's kind of like half of the other size. Let's see, it's a little more than half, just a tiny bit little more than half. So that's the comparison on sizes. So, and it has the same lid, it has the same bag. It's basically the same packaging concept. So let's open this guy and see how it looks like. It also has a big mirror here and here are the colors. Surreal Effect Brilliant Nude Lucid Glow and Infinite Flush. Okay, my friends, so what do I think about these colors? Let's start for talking about this one right here, which is the second one that I uh, show you. That is the Brilliant Nude. It is actually a nude. That color is too, too light to be a blush, to be honest with you. Might be more suitable to be a highlighter maybe to put it here or put it at the back of your blush situation it might be right but i don't think that's a blush i don't even think for anybody that is a blush it has too much shimmer on it it's too light it's basically a nude color so i think it's too 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 light to be a blush I don't think that color belongs here. If it, I have any critique about the color selection from this palette, it will be that color right there. It won't make an effect for any anyone. I don't I don't understand why this is here. All right, guys, I already applied my foundation. I applied this pomegranate in the shade light seven, a very sheer coat of the foundation. Um, now I'm gonna be applying my Giorgio Armani, and we're gonna be setting it with a this one right here which is the lightest of the shading of the setting powders this will be the diffuse light and then we're gonna set the entire face with the first one which is right here this one is the deep light Okay, now let's move on with the entire face and here we encounter the first problem with this palette which is they are tiny and look at how big and fluffy is my brush for my entire face so this is not gonna fit in there we are touching all the colors unless I pinch it and like be try to be the most gentle possible so the sizes of it it might be an issue for certain brushes so far so good, I like how it's been looking like, everything, the finishing is very pretty, but we encountered the same problem again. For my bronzer, I normally use this Eco2 uh, full powder brush, and <laughs> that's gonna be hard to pick from there, so let's try. I really, really like this bronzer. It's so beautiful, so buttery. Ugh, beautiful. The only problem that I encounter is that my big fluffy brush doesn't really fit in there. And for the blushes, we have these two here. I'm gonna make a combination of both of them. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh boy. Like, who is she? This is so nice. I love that color, the combination of those two come up with a beautiful, kind of like pinkish coral color. Amazing, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna leave the other chick for the little palette, so let's do highlight, and for highlight, I want to use, obviously, this little guy right here, on this side. It's not crazy, crazy, like right there in your face, but you see it, like, don't tell me you don't see it, because I see it, and it's kind of like, so beautiful, oh my god, it's kind of like, very subtle, like, it's not crazy intense, 
So nice. I actually like it. Look at that reflection. So beautiful. I'm going to be applying the bronzer on my eyelid to see that how it performs because if you know I love to apply bronzer on my eyelid those days that I don't want to do too much and yeah applies very beautifully too all right so now let's play with this one right here and since all these colors are so beautiful and I'm just going to do something very very fast because I cannot put all of them in my cheeks I'm just gonna pick all of them and see what we come out with. Oh my god, that was too much. I did it too hard. Formula is very delicate. Don't press too hard on it. <laughs> so let's apply this one. Oh my god, this is all the colors. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I actually like it more than the combination of these two only. Oh my god, that's so pretty! I love it. This is so cute. Let me apply a little bit on my nose. Let's get this color right here in the corner. This is the Brilliant Nude and use it as a highlight and see how it looks like. Yeah, you see? It's kind of like a highlight. It's not like in your face highlight, but it's, it looks like a highlight to me. Like, in the top of my lip and the top of my nose see it looks like a highlight i mean it's very subtle but it does look like a highlight all right my friends this is my review what do i think about the packaging it's beautiful it's tiny it's cute it's easy to travel with you have all the products that you need for your face in one product one compact product so it's very travel friendly it's not too heavy um well, I like this because it looks more elegant. At the same time, look at how dirty it looks like after I use it once. Obviously, you just wipe it off and it will be clean. But it's dirty, you know what I mean? It's not like a super clean product. I think the bag, which is the plasticky part, is more easy to, clean, to keep it clean because it doesn't have the fingerprint problem. But again, this was a different packaging. Maybe they start trying to differentiate themselves from other previous limited edition collections. So yeah, that's the packaging right there. What do I think about the colors? They are amazing. I love all of them. This is really good. The only thing that I will suggest is that they create two palettes, one for light to medium and one for like medium to dark because some of these colors won't work on everybody and I think everybody should have the chance to try their formula and be more, you know, be di diversified. Diversify yourself a little bit. Uh, we're in 2019 and every brand out there is doing so, so it's just the right thing to do. So that's the only suggestion that I have. This is a super high-end product. This is $80 and it performs like it. So I am very happy with this one. Talking about this guy right here, it's supposed to be all of them blushes. It's the same packaging, the same problems that I have, obviously, with the other one. The only thing that I notice is this color is extremely light. It doesn't make sense to be here in blushes. This is more like a highlighter. I use it right here, and I use it here and here, and it does perform more like a highlighter. I don't know why it's here, but again, I appreciate the concept. I think it looks beautiful. I think it looks pretty. If you are afraid to use this formula because it looks too strong, believe me, it's not. Uh, you can build it up. You can put very minimal amount of it, or you can put a lot of it, and it still will perform very nicely. It's a formula that I'm actually very impressed with, and I'm happy that I finally get to try it on. So final note, I want to put a big, nice giveaway for all of you in December, for December. Um, I want to give to my community all the love that they deserve and all the love that they have given me. So I want to put a giveaway for December. Let me know if you would like to get one of these products on the giveaway. And well, put down there in the comments below and let me know which of these two products you would like me to get and put it on a giveaway for December. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that it was informative for all of you. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. That will help me tons, tons here on YouTube and it will make the world to me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.